Hello, welcome back to Deconstructing with Dawn. I wanted to share with you guys my April 2022 bag um, from Ipsy. It came yesterday, April 19th. Today is the 20th. And I wanted to share with you by using some of the items so I can just like show you what it looks like um, instead of putting it on myself on the camera. Anyway, um, the theme is keep growing. And I think it's um, daisies, right? That's a daisy, not a dandelion. I kept thinking it was a dandelion because I have a a grand dog named Dandelion, so I, I have that in my mind. But cute little tassel thing, or toggle thing, is that what it's called? Um, yellow piping, it's like a canvas bag. Um, again, the theme is right here. And then, normally it would tell you what um, the products are, but it's not. It's saying, tidy your tech, mini emergency prep, and pay it forward. So things to do in the spring. Um, okay, so I got five items in my bag, but I ordered one thing that was extra. So I'm thinking that's why it was a tiny bit late. Um, the one thing that I did order was this. Um, it is by Memoir Destination Unknown, Memoir Archives Destination Unknown. Cute little box here. Um, this is the fragrance, always nice, generous size. I believe it cost me $350 plus tax. Um, and I don't know what that 01 means, but um, I sprayed it yesterday so I can get a feel for it, right? And all day I'm like, I, I know that smell, I know that smell. Oh, it's leaking. It leaked earlier too. It's tight too, but it's it's leaking around the edges. Now the cat's gonna talk. Um, anyway, then I sprayed it on again today and I realized it smells just like Juicy Couture. I had a thing in the 2000s for Juicy and um, this smells just like it. Like I swear it's just like it to me on my body. Um, okay, then the five things that came, one I got to select myself. Um, they, I'm not sure if everybody gets, I'm sure everybody does, but um, about halfway through the month, you get to pick one item of your five for the next month. And I picked this new, or Hey Honey, um, foot, Walk the Walk, Propellus Foot and Heel Repair cre Repair Cream. I did not use this as I intended to do because I'm in, I'm on the sixth day of one of those foot peels. It still has not peeled at all. So I didn't want to put this on there and interrupt that because I'm looking forward to seeing how they st that foot mask peel thing is. I sent one to my niece and she's like, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> so um, apparently it's pretty cool, but it hasn't happened to me. I'm six days in. And, oh, my hair's awful. Anyway, I digress. This, I don't know if it, I don't know if it has a lid on it. Yeah, it's sealed, so I'm not gonna open it. Um, if it's fantastic, I'll let you guys know. Oh, but what I do wanna let you guys know, cause I'm like so OCD and bipolar around here, um, that bar of soap uh, for the shampoo and um, that like little scrubby thing that, that was separate, I am digging that. Um, you rub that bar of soap just a little bit and it makes a lot of suds and it suds up your hair fantastically. Um, it kind of dries out the hair, which in my case is better. When I have too much conditioner in my hair, um, this is what happens. When I don't, it kind of like lays flat, which, you know, people probably don't like that, but I prefer that. So I am digging it. Um, and then that little massaging thing, I wash my hair with the, the bar of soap, which I've used it probably three weeks now, and it's the, barely a dent in it. And it's a small, and my hands are like raccoon size, so it fits nicely in my hand. I just love it. Um, anyway, then I use that little massaging comb thing, and, it, you know, exfoliate my head or whatever it does, I don't know, but I love it. So if you guys are interested in that, get one. Um, I then put a um, conditioner just on the bottom part of my hair. Um, last night I did not, and so my hair is, you know, crazy as usual, but it's flatter, which is much better for me. Um, okay, so the next thing that came in my thingy is Purity. I know Purity's a pretty good brand. Um, it is a one-step facial cleanser, which I should have used that last night because I thought this was a lotion. <laughs> it's facial cleanser. Um, I don't know if I can, no, you can't smell through it, but um, I know Purity is a really good brand, so I'm sure I will like it. Um, so this, this is the Beauty For Real All In, I read that, All In um, Lip Gloss. What do you call this stuff? It's matte. Um, it's kind of sticky, but that's probably because I first put this on. Um, so it may not be sticky, but for me, it is sticky right now. Perfect color. I have probably 40 of these that all match the same color, but I like it. It's, um, again, I think the stickiness is from this because I could taste it. Anyway, okay, so then I got this, which is Farah Pressed Pigment du Duos Blossom and Breeze. I'm on a roll today. I can really see these things. Um, okay, so this is that. So first off, this is this. It looks darker on the lips than in the bottle, right? Um, perfect for me right on my, right up my alley. Okay, so this, whoo, dear Lord, look what happened. Oh my God. Okay, so this is all over my eye. Ooh, 
God, I look terrible. This is just on the edges and, you know, brushed in. But this, I don't think I have any brown. It's called Black Magic Cocoa Edit Liquid Eyeliner. So I was putting this side on, right? And um, see how bad it is? Well, it would have been bad no matter what. But my dog, my doodle came up through my legs and lifted me up as I went, eh. So I then had to match this side to make it look ridiculous like this side. But yeah, it's cocoa. I mean, the whole thing kind of matches together, I think. But yeah, it's cocoa. It went on really easily. It sure screwed up pretty easily too. <laughs> um, so that is what's on there. That's called Cocoa Edit by Black Magic. Nice sharp pin there. I don't think I have any brown. I'm not sure. Anyway, I put it on. I'm not the greatest at wings anyway. Then I wanted to show you the whole thing. So I, I used all like sticks today. Um, this is Tarte Tarte um, Clay Stick Foundation in the color Light Beige, which I think is a bit too orangey for me. See that? Um, but it doesn't go on. I, my most favorite foundation is Amazonian Clay by them. And it just goes on great, matches, it settles into my face really nicely. But this just, this, the stick is just like, uh, 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 like grabs and you gotta put more and more and more on. Um, I use this to, um, you know, push it in, which I use, like to use my brush better, but I thought, okay, all clay, st or all sticks, I'll use this. I'll just use different parts of this. And I don't like it. I mean, I, mean, I don't know if it looks bad, but to me it looks bad. It feels bad too, it feels real thick. Um, then, oh, first off, I put this as a primer. Um, Pores Be Gone Matte Primer by First Aid Beauty, I think. I can't read that. Um, I use the Morphe, I don't know what color that is, for the concealer here. See how like, yeah. Um, and then I put this on everywhere, the, the, the that. Then I use this Wonder Stick by NYX. Um, one side is a, um, what's it called? <laughs> Contouring which I did, you know, the, 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 the three that you put on your face. And I don't know, I don't know if you can even see, I guess maybe a little bit here you can see. Um, and then this is the highlighter, which I just put on like my nose and the tip of the eye area and the top of the cheek. Um, so that was that. Then I used this Milk um, Work, W-E-R-K, uh, for the um, blush. Oh no. And then I sprayed it all with the MAC Fix It Plus. This is the end of it, I can throw this away now, which sets it nicely. Even though I don't like this particular face look, it does set nicely. Um, then I put this pumpkin um, cupcake on so my lips wouldn't be too dry. And then I put this on over it. And then I topped it off with my last use of this, which is the Tarte Tardiest. This is a, a very good, um, it's got a thick a brush to it. It does very thick lashes and dense. Not so much long because you'd be like caterpillars, but it's real thick and dense. So it makes your eyelashes look really good. And this is the end of that. So I'm be throwing that away. And then of course, I um, love this, even though my eyebrows are really screwed up today. Uh, precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. My favorite. Even though I use that Avon one for like 20 years, I love this. Um, anyway, so that is all of it. That's my face um, using all those products. Again, I got the Coco Edit by Black Magic. I got the uh, Beauty For Real All In Lip, whatever they're called. Eyeshadow by Farah. Um, the Purity Facial Cleanser, which I'll probably use tonight. I don't think I have any in my shower. Um, this I'll use when I can if my feet ever peel. And this total is leaking. Even standing up is leaking. So that's not a good idea, but anyway, it smells just like juicy if you're interested. Okay, so that is that. I want to give a little uh, reminder that um, the person that, the two people at this point, that have both won the uh, masks, have neither one of them contacted me. Um, the, the winner of the brushes has been sent out um, for March. So I'm going to, March, well, for April, for April. And so I'll have a May, I'll start May 1st with the new giveaway. Um, I think I'm just going to put the mask back into rotation, maybe give it away at the end of the year, see if somebody's interested then. I thought it was a great deal, but I guess not. Um, anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with the May giveaway.